What is up, YouTube? Don't do that. <laughs> Don't start it that way. Do you want to try to do it? What is up, YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> You can't find a friend in Talladega. You think you're too good for the people over here? Yeah, well, guess what? We're gonna prove you're not. There's great people here. We're meeting them left and right. Why? 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 Would you rather get a beer with him or an eight year old child? Seven year old child. Seven year old child. If he was your son, what would you tell him? Not to be a douchebag like Kyle Bush was a douchebag. Give me the craziest shit you guys have seen at Talladega. We were rolling up on a golf cart and we passed this 80 year old dude. This bitch showed me his asshole. You made eye contact with an asshole. With the damn chili hole. What did you see in there? What he ate last night? Darkness. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I'm scared. Apparently, these drinks are donations optional. <laughs> I guess I'm donating to charity for once in my life. Now, what's the craziest thing you've seen at a NASCAR event? There was a grandma, and she was showing her titties, and my buddy was like, damn, that lady could breastfeed an army. We got a full frontal seen. show, baby, and it was electric. <laughs> it was fucking electric. We <laughs> had another sad, sad party. Look at that and tell me that this makes you just a little sad. Oh, this makes me happy. I'm very happy. <laughs> What are your thoughts on so far? I what was terrified. Seen? We got out there, there were strippers. Everybody's here just to see women's tits. 90% of the tits you don't even want to see. But that's the, that's the magic of Talladega, baby. I always drink that's four more of these and drive through the crowd <laughs> with an RV. <laughs> By the way, I'm very sorry when I sleep. It's very loud when I come in my sleep. When you what? When I come in my sleep. It sounds like a volcano erupting and it feels like one and it hurts like one. Waking up in an RV is not fun. It's not. There's no such thing as hot water. We all took cold showers. How'd you sleep last night? I, I couldn't sleep last night. So I kind of just started walking around the RV park and I gotta tell you, there's nothing more exhilarating than just opening random people's RVs and walking in and listening to them scream bloody murder. I wish I had never done that because now nothing will be as enjoyable as that. Preston, what time did you get in it last night? 3.30 a.m. <laughs> Shit, man. I was telling Luke again, there's something inherently erotic about this sport. I didn't really get it until now I was playing along. I get it now. How long you got to stand out here? 7 in the morning to 8 o'clock. Are you recording me? Go! Go! There's cars coming! Go! <laughs> there's no car. Do you have a second to chat? Me? Yeah. 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 Turn the camera off. Describe NASCAR in three words. Competition, contact, Earnhardt. Fast, unpredictable, competitive. Why don't you give me three words? How would you feel about a NASCAR league strictly for drunk driving? I don't hate the idea. Maybe get him in some bubble wrap. No! no! Do you have a very rough penis? Guess out of the last seven days, guess how many times I've had Jimmy John's? 30? Yeah. Seven. Yes. I'm one or two drinks away from Jacob being like, hey, wrap it up. Come here every year? Yeah, we come here every year, and Sheena, this is her first time. It's her first time. Really excited. You guys seem really close. What's the relationship here? We've been together for two years. It's an open re relationship. Is it like a two-way street situation, or or what? More like a three-way street. Yeah, three-way. You have the Wendy's, it's free, and they won't let you order. They just give you whatever they give you. It was a hostile environment getting your food, which is definitely deducting points, but I'm having a blast. Sandy! What is the weirdest thing you've seen today? I've seen a 300-pound woman's Boobs. I saw a 300 pound woman's penis. My father, if he knew I was here, he would ask me to go to church the next morning and I would tell him, John 316, we're here to show buttholes, we're not here to show grace. Show me your buttholes! This is your first time at Talladega. No. You need the shrooms, we got them. What is the wildest thing you've ever seen at Talladega? You ever seen Princess Peach get fucked by, like, anybody? No. Have you? Are you volunteering? Is, no. We can make a deal. 
Okay. <laughs> no one cares about anything. Nobody cares about shit. We're on the hunt for another interview. People are finally drunk. It's been a long day of talking to bowls of vanilla yogurt. No, just... It's about time <laughs> we got a good interview. <laughs> That's the ball. We're getting a film off right now. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I got a question for you. Why can't I grow up facial hair? I'm not even proud of this. I hate it, to be honest. I'm not. I feel like you're throwing it in my face, and it's killing me. Oh, no, 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 no. What about this? What camera we're looking at? <laughs> Neither. What's the craziest shit you've seen tonight? Tits. Seventy-year-old titties. A dude was like, "Hey, let me bring my wife over here and show titties. your tits." I had to stare at his wife's tits. Oh, fuck. I know it's kind of fucked up when you think about it. I, I just want to see some cars. That's all we came for. We just want to see some cars. You ever killed one of your pets? Involuntarily. I left the light on for the lizard and it baked in this just overnight. I was six, dude. I don't know what to tell you. Did you name him? Yeah, Gekki. Gekki? Gekki the Gecko. Gekki the Gecko. It's kind of called patronism, you know? It's patronism. Like, you don't really understand the Boston Tea Party until you really listen to Nickelback's lyrics, right? Yeah. Come on, fuck her up. Uh, fuck her up, son. Uh, wait, wait, wait. USA? USA. Oh, yeah. Go, go, go suck her up. There you are. Check it out. Fuck your life, bro. Butt dog. Butt dog. Butt dog. Where are all you girls at? Butt dog. Get on the big hairy American winning machine. Suck in that hose, butt dog. Wake up. Butter up. Don't make me sad for coming. I can think about like, what's the best case scenario. Buy candy. It is day three of Talladega. 7.45 in the morning. Because why, why do this in a normal hour? We're about to head on to the track and drive about as fast as they can push us in some trucks. Kind of setting in that we're going to be like flying around this track right now. Apparently it's like 120 miles an hour. I'm like regretting some of the things that I did to my body last night. I'm curious why they're, why they're Ford Explorers. Mine's a Hyundai Elantra. <laughs> <laughs> That's my chair, it's right up there. One four cups in that thing in 94. I won the piston cup in that car. I won the Duramax 450 in that car. I won the Tampa Stingray piston cup in that car. I lost my virginity in the number 27 car in the 94 piston cup. What do you have to say to your fans and sponsors about the pending allegations? Well, first and foremost, I emphatically deny them. They're not They're not true. The ones that have dropped me Golden Corral, I will no longer be dining at your, uh, at your fine establishment. I didn't even like uh, any of your appetizers, they're horrible. I just said that for the commercial. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Dude, Frankie's such How's a big fan, man. Thanks, I My wife that. loves you too. Really fun idea. I'm so I'm gonna bring her over here and propose to her right in front of you right now. In what front of me? Yeah. That's, uh, is that the, the best way to do it? I don't yeah. know. I don't think it's a, the best idea. We're gonna do it. I appreciate your support, but I don't really want to be involved. In yeah. That. So what I'll do? I'll get down on a knee. You get down there with me. No, we'll get down anything in. that he doesn't want to do, we're not doing. I'm sorry, guys. Yeah. I don't want to do that. I'm okay. sorry. Anything um, that he doesn't want to do. Is that for We're doing a skit. I am so sorry. I think that plays better. That does play better. Yeah, that played. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Maybe that's the cut. Like, I did not know that was gonna happen. Yeah. I, I wasn't like watching oh. when I saw her like come in. I was like, what did I they was, say? I was. So... <laughs> they touch a stick or something. It's like the nicest dude I've ever met in my entire life. All right, we, we're gonna go check in with the pit crew here shortly. You know, just make sure that my 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 motor vehicle's uh, up to the specs. What's your best story from a celebration? Oh, easily the Daytona 500 when we all got ass tattoos. Fun, fucking fun. Who's the most hateable NASCAR driver? Kyle Busch by long shot. Kyle Busch is your winner. How about it? <laughs> Why do you hate him so much? Because he's a crybaby, whiny punk. He always blames everybody else for his problems. It was like a fairly bizarre weekend, but um, I had a great time. I think we learned a lot about ourselves. Um, NASCAR, not really what I thought. It was so much thicker. Uh, 
I'm exhausted. I haven't I haven't taken a hot shower since the Friday morning. And I haven't eaten anything. I think I've gained a hundred pounds since I've been here. So get a detox uh, this week and then we'll see you guys uh, later. Get me the fuck out of Alabama.